Good morning, everybody. Nate Eaton here outside the courthouse in Idaho Falls. Um, wanted to give you a quick update on uh, the a motion that has been filed by the prosecution in the Chad and Lori Daybell cases. Uh, this motion was filed in both cases, and prosecutors are asking that DNA testing be performed on a few things that were found at Chad Daybell's property. A shovel, a pickaxe, a DNA testing under JJ's fingernails, uh, tape, the duct tape that was surrounding him, testing on that, and I believe one or two other things. I, I can't recall off the top of my head. But what they're, what they're asking is they want the state lab or someone, a DNA expert, to do consumptive DNA testing on that. What that means is that when they go in and do the test, they test all the DNA at once so that after it's done, there's no more DNA to test. So basically, you kind of have one shot at it. And that's the reason why... I, most likely the prosecution has waited this long to do it. A lot of people are saying, well, why didn't they test these things, you know, in June of 2020 when the children were found at Chad's property? Or why, why did they wait nearly three years since the kid disappeared? Well, you basically have one shot to do this, to do this DNA testing. And that is, is what they want to do. So they are asking that all the DNA on this shovel, on the pickaxe, on the tape be tested at once. And then when the results come back, we'll know whose DNA was on those, on those items. So it's likely that the defense, Chad and Lori's attorneys, will both object to this because they, uh, or, or, or it's possible they don't, they won't, I don't know. But it's likely that they could uh, or that they'll have stipulations that they'll want. Most likely they will want a representative from their team in the lab when the testing is done. Or, <coughs> excuse me, they'll want a photographer with a video camera in that lab when the test is testing is being done. That will be up to the judge to decide how that happens. However, with this motion that was filed today, there was a, a statement filed by a lady who works at the lab saying that they don't want a camera in there and they don't want anybody else in there. There could be some worry that the DNA could be contaminated if you have a camera in there, if you have somebody else in there. So they are saying that it, it's best not to do it at the state lab. So now it could be moved to a private lab. Bottom line, it will likely be a hearing about this. The judge will decide, you know, what to, what to do, uh, how to proceed, if, if how the DNA testing, one, will be authorized, the consumptive DNA testing, and two, where the DNA testing can happen. So that's kind of the latest. I'm, I'm writing a, a full story here shortly and I'll post it and you can read all about exactly what they want, what the uh, defense wants or what the prosecution wants. In the coming weeks, you're going to see, I think, more and more motions filed on behalf of the defense as they get closer and closer to the trial, which is coming up in January, which seems like a long way away, but really things are moving in this case. Uh, and so what will happen is there'll probably be some... Um, procedural uh, filings done by the defense here, just things that are done in every case, especially death penalty cases where the, the bar is much higher. And then there'll be a, a pre-trial conference, I believe it's scheduled for October. And in that pre-trial conference, the judge will ask, you know, both sides, are you ready to go? Do you have any concerns? Do you have any issues? Uh, it's possible that a plea agreement, one of them could say, I want to take a plea agreement. I'm going to plead guilty in exchange, rather than the death penalty, give me life in prison or something like that. Um, or the really Chad and Lori at any time could come out and say, I want to change my plea. They don't have to wait for that hearing. Uh, so far there's been nothing, you know, publicly spoken about a plea agreement, but it, anything could happen. Um, so that's, that's the latest here. As I said, I'll have a full report prosecution asking for DNA testing on a few items that were found at Chad's property, consumptive DNA testing, meaning they're going to test it all, all of the material at once. And then once that's done, you, you don't have any more option to test anything more because it's done, it's been completed. Um, so again, we'll have the full story later on eastidahonews.com. I'll post it here on my Facebook page too and I uh, hope that everybody here has a good day and that you keep following the case. Thanks for watching.